Hello guys, welcome back. I'm David Cortese and this is my website uh, www.david-cortese.com. So if you search in this section math tutoring there is another section math exercises and you will find a lot of exercises for do a lot of math. So today we do this exercise number two, second degree equation. So let's start. This video is entirely dedicated to the second degree equation. So it's a good example for practicing with mathematics. So let's start. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So x plus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to minus 2x plus 1 raised to 2 minus 4. So the first thing we have to do is uh, to do this uh, multiplication. So x times x is x raised to 2. x times minus 2 is uh, minus 2x. 1 times x is x and 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. So we do this square is uh, minus 2x raised to 2 is uh, 4x squared. The, uh, the, pro the double product is uh, minus 2x times 1 times 2, so it's minus 4x, and the square of 1 is 1, minus 4, so this is minus 3, and this is minus x, so it's x raised to 2. We put uh, this on the other side, so it's minus 4x raised to 2, minus x, 4x on the other side is plus 4x, and minus 2, plus 3, is equal to 0. So it's uh, minus 3x raised to 2 plus uh, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have this is the a, the coefficient, the coefficient a, this is b, this is c. So we know that uh, delta, this is delta is equal to b raised to 2 minus 4 times a times c. So we do b raised to 2 is 3 raised to 2 minus 4 times a that is minus 3 times c that is 1. So it is 9 plus 4 times 3 is uh, 12, minus minus is plus, so it's, a, it's plus, 9 plus 12 is 21. So for resolving uh, a second degree equation, equation, we must do, we must use this important formula. This is the formula for resolving a second degree equation. And you must use uh, always this because it's the best method for resolving a second degree equation. So the formula is x12 because I need to say that uh, delta is greater than zero. Therefore, there are two real and distinct solutions. So we we must find two distinct and real solutions that are x1 and x2. 
So x12 is minus b plus minus the square root of the delta over 2 times a. So minus b minus b we know that b is 3 so minus b is minus 3 plus minus square of 21 over 2a 2 times minus 3 So it's uh, minus 3 plus minus square of 21 over minus 6. We can simplify this minus and this minus. So it's uh, 3 plus minus square of 21 over 6. So we continue the, to uh, simplify, so it's 3 over 6 plus minus square of 21 that is equal to 1 over 2 plus minus square of 21 so the first solution is uh, 1 over 2 minus square of the square root of 21 and x2 is equal to 1 over 2 plus square root of 21 so as you can see 1 over 2 minus uh, square root of uh, 21. Yes, I, I lost this. I lost this piece that is very important. Yes, yes, yes. I lost this. So, as you can see, the square root uh, of 21 over 6 is uh, yeah this part yeah uh, x1 is uh, 1 over 2 minus square root of 21 over 6 that is minus 0 0.264 almost it's uh, this symbol is uh, is not exactly equal but it's almost equal and x2 is 1 over 2 plus uh, the square root of 21 over 6, that is almost uh, 1.264. So, the most important uh, thing that uh, is uh, at first for solving a second degree equation, uh, you have to do the calculations to arrive here. So, we, so you must have the second degree term, the first degree term, and the zero, the zero degree term. And then you solve using this formula. Uh, at first you need to calculate the delta and then use this formula. So for now is everything. Follow me. In my website, uh, you will find a lot of uh, interesting uh, things about uh, software engineering and mathematics in general. You can find a lot uh, of games, for example, the game of chess, a game that I love. So, goodbye, stay safe, bye bye.